the key to Armenia's survival. From the New York Times, an Armenian merchant portrayed by Joe Danny Greed Imbra in the 18th century by Roderick Conway Morris. Published February 23, 2012. Venice, Armenian civilization is one of the most ancient of those surviving in the Middle East, but for large parts of its history Armenia has been a nation without a country. This has given the spoken and written word, the primary means through which Armenian identity has been preserved, enormous prominence in its people's culture. Over the centuries this emphasis has fostered a particular regard for books and the means of producing them. Scribes added notes on the proper care and conservation of books and advice on hiding them during dangerous times, even on ransoming them should they fall into the wrong hands. A late 19th century English traveler observed that the Armenians prized the printing press with the same affection and reverence as the Persian Highlanders value a rifle or sporting gun. The Gospel, dating from 1331, with an illumination of St. Matthew, with the artist himself, Sargis Kitsok, kneeling at the feet of the Evangelist. In 1511-1512, the exact date is uncertain. The first Armenian book was printed in Vernus. The event was especially significant for this scattered nation, which did not acquire a modern homeland until 1918 and then only in a small part of its ancestral lands. Painting of 1889 by the Armenian artist Ivan A. Bazarsky, The Descent of Noah from Mount Ararat, from the National Gallery in Yerevan. It shows the Old Testament patriarch leading his family and a procession of animals across the plain, still watery from the subsiding flood, to repeople the earth. The extraordinary grip that this mountain has had on the Armenian imagination is tellingly demonstrated by subsequent sections on sculpture, the Armenian church and the art, the conical domes of Armenian churches seeming eternally to replicate this geographical feature that symbolizes the salvation of the human race. Christiana cherished Armenia as early as the 1st or early 2nd century. And Armenia is claimed to having been the first nation that adopted the faith as a state religion, sometime between 293 and 314, the date traditionally recorded by the Armenian Church is 301. As the Cran O. Wiedtian, writes in his essay in the exhibition Substantial and Wide Ranging Catalogue, which is available in English, French and Italian, Armenian artists were remarkably open to artistic trends in Byzantium, the Latin West, the Islamic Near East and even Central Asia and China. Contacts became frequent during the Kingdom of Cilicia, as Phoenician merchants expanded their activities in the Levant and their Armenian counterparts sought opportunities in Europe. A precious copy of the first Armenian book printed in 1511-1512, the religious work titled The Book of Friday, is also on display. 
The innovation led to the setting up of a host of Armenian presses all over the world. San Lazaro became the epicenter of the worldwide Armenian cultural revival. The community created the study center and library, was responsible for printing scores of books in Venice and elsewhere, and established an international network of schools, where a high proportion of Armenia's religious and secular elite received an education into modern times. From Armenian Gospel Book. Produced in 1060.